Hello, hello, it's me, Stardust Legacy, here with a hopefully quick and definitely unscripted tutorial about how to use Adobe Character Animator to make your own avatar in Discord. Now, this is a very basic video. It's just like basically the tech of how to get it all working. Um, anything further that you wanna know about Character Animator is definitely gonna be out of my, um, <laughs> out of my scope of knowledge. So I um, suggest that you follow OK Samurai on YouTube to get all the, the down and dirty and once you're ready to start making your own puppets and things like that, um, he's gonna be a great resource. So um, what you're gonna need to, uh, to do this is you're gonna need a webcam hooked up to your computer. You're gonna need ca Character Animator by Adobe, which is included in Creative Cloud, a rather expensive subscription. Do look into um, whether you qualify for the teacher or student or university staff discount, um, because that's it's less than half the price if you are able to qualify for that. Um, you'll also need some free tools. You'll need OBS Studio or another broadcasting software. You will need um, NDI tools and an NDI plugin in order to use um, all of this technology together in OBS. And then of course you'll need Discord. Um, so the reason I'm making this tutorial is for some friends in my D&D group. We want to have our avatars represent us instead of our real life faces for our characters. So um, I hope this works for you and um, you're able to get what you want out of Character Animator and Discord. So um, let's take a look and see um, what we need to download. Um, let me just pull up my monitor here so that you can see what I'm on about. Okay. Did I say it was unscripted? Because it totally is unscripted. <laughs> okay, here we go. So all of these links will, of course, be in the description below the video. But um, here's OBS. This is what you need to download for your um, for for streaming. You may already have it downloaded. Make sure you have the most current version when you get going on this project. You'll need uh, NDI tools, um, and you'll just choose the one for your operating uh, system, <laughs> no, Windows or Mac, and you'll install that. Just use the um, installer and use the defaults, and it'll give you everything that you need. And then finally, if you're using OBS, like I am, you'll need a plugin for everything to talk to OBS. Um, and that's the... Um, it's an NDI plugin, and that's on GitHub. And again, address in the um, in the description. What, just a quick note here: when I first came to this website and tried to figure out what I needed to exactly download, it's just like all this text, and I, I just didn't really know. So don't take the one that says Ubuntu <laughs> package bug fix. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm making an idiot of myself, but big shocker. Um, just keep scrolling until you come across the first version that. So it just says OBS-NDI and then a release number. So the current one as of today, January 12th, 2021 is 4.9.0. So I, again, just download, scroll down until you get to the install instructions. I recommend using the installer, not um, going into the archive root directory, whatever it is that it's at, suggesting if you don't feel like using the installer, I just use the installer and it works great. And that's going to have a bunch, um, and so you're going to have a bunch of components that are all going to work together so that you can um, take your character animator all the way through to Discord. Okay, and this also, by the way, all the same tools um, are the same way that you stream with, um, with character animator and OBS and Twitch. So if you already know how to do that, you basically don't need my video. <laughs> so why are you watching it? Um, there is one more little step and it's just picking your source in Discord. But um, <laughs> that's about like going to be the last 30 seconds of the video. So, um, okay. So now let's take a look. Um, so I'm going to assume you've installed all of these things. You have the most up-to-date version of OBS running. Um, you've got everything ready to go. So let's take a look. You can... Let's take a look at my, my little setup here. Um, so there's my character animator. There's my little guy. See, he's dancing. He's getting down. Yeah. Isn't he cute? Um, so what you can see there, and you've 
if you've worked with can character animator, you've already seen all this. But basically, when you open a puppet um, and you turn on your webcam or open the little door on your webcam or whatever, um, it will start looking at your face and um, motion capturing it and um, your movement will start to affect the way the puppet moves. The mouth movement is actually lip synced from the mic, not from um, facial movements. Uh, okay, so then obviously the next thing you see is the in the upper corner there is you, or in this case, me, Stardust. And um, that's what your webcam is picking up and translating to the puppet. So first thing that you should do um, anytime you um, install a new puppet or before you're gonna do something for the evening, like, you know, play um, Dungeons and Dragons, um, is just go ahead and set your rest pose. So that just basically means you're looking straight into the camera with a neutral expression on your face. And then this button over here, this set rest pose right below your um, webcam image, you're just gonna look in the camera and click that. And then that resets all those little red points all over your face for motion capture, okay? Okay, so, um, now I already have this guy pulled up, but let's go ahead and do it as though we didn't have any puppets pulled up. When you first open Character Animator, it looks like this. This is your home page. It's got little tips. Um, it'll have any projects that you've been working on. And then down here is this example puppets. Well, they're not, I mean, they're not just examples. They're like, you can use them. That's what this one I'm using is. So um, let's grab another one. And you just double click on it and it'll open it up. Um, there are also puppets you can find. Um, there's lots of other free ones available. If you just Google free character animator puppets, you'll find them. And then there's ones that you have to pay for. Um, and, and then you can also create your own, but that's definitely beyond my scope. Mm -hmm. So now you see it just plugged in this other puppet instead of the little alien that we were using. Now it has this little animate girl. Um, I would go ahead and set my rest pose again. Since I changed puppets, you should always do that every time you change for the best character um, capture. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm not going to attempt to teach you character animator because <laughs> I barely understand it myself and you don't need to know all the bells and whistles just to get going for your for your stream or whatever. Um, um, I, the only thing is if you are looking at something that looks more like this, uh, the rig, and you're like, why am I not seeing what Stardust is seeing? Just change yourself to record or stream. And then you'll see the things that I'm talking about here, including your own sweet self in the corner. Um, okay. So now, um, we'd have OBS as well. Um, and we want to send this to OBS. So I'm going to let me show you my OBS. Let me drag it over from my other monitor. Be patient with me here. Bring it over here so you can see it. Okay. So let's make it nice and big. So my OBS looks really confusing because it's got, um, <laughs> it's got, um, it's pretty meta, right? It's got, this is my preview window and then that's my what's live window. And then this is the whole thing. It's just like looking into the matrix or something. But the, the important thing that I want to show you is once you, um, once you have this, once you have this all set up, um, you're going to be able to add in your camera feed, um, i.e. your character from, um, from the character animator program um, because you've installed NDI and your plugins and everything. So the way you're going to do that is um, when you, you can make a new scene if you want to, or you can add it to another scene um, that you have. And again, um, OBS is out of the uh, scope of what I'm teaching right now, but We'll just make a new, a brand new scene. So now you see that we're, we're not seeing um, any of the stuff that we're seeing before. That's okay. Cause now we're going to add in our um, character animator source. So what you want to look for, so here, I'm sorry, I don't want to go too fast, but so I'm in my scene and then I go over here to the right where it says sources and I hit the plus and there, now I can choose different things like microphone and browser, like 
display capture. That's how I'm showing you my monitor right now, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but what we want right now is NDI scene. Okay, and then from here, we can add in whatever, um, we can add in the character cam. Or we can make a new one. So we'll, we'll create a new one just so that it's, um, we're doing, oh, let's hold on. So that we're doing it like a, um, maybe I can't do that because I'm actually in using an NDI source. I'm, I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, so it opened up, I hit NDI source and then here in the source name, you're gonna grab, it'll say like your desktop identification thing and then it'll say Adobe character animator. And then once you hit okay on that, now you see how it's getting my feed of my character. So that's pretty groovy, right? Um, so now you know that OBS is talking to um, Character Animator. Now the last thing we need to do is um, involve Discord and all that. So what I'm gonna do now, this is so many windows on top of windows, I barely know what I'm doing here. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Okay. So, so um, I'm going to, I'm going to need to now open up my, um, my NDI tool set. So in Windows here, let me make, I want to make sure, let me grab my OBS again, because I want to make sure you're seeing what I'm seeing. I'm going to go back to my... Okay. Okay. So I want to show you my right monitor. I think I am. Okay. Can you see this? Is that making it pop up? Yep. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I'm going to go under my NDI um, in my programs, NDI tools, click that open. And the important thing that you need is to, you're going to make uh, a virtual camera out of your um, OBS. Um, so within NDI tools, you'll notice there's all these things. I don't know what half of them do, okay? But what you want is the NDI um, webcam input. Um, it might also say virtual webcam. Um, I've seen tutorials where it was called that, but that might be the old term for it but basically see how they're all they're all different colors here gray blue red it's the yellow one okay so you want the yellow one so when you click on that nothing happens um, here because it went it goes to your system tray so if I go oh I don't think I we can't see my system tray on that monitor but okay, I'll show it to you on the other monitor I'm gonna get really fancy now left monitor Okay, is that working? You're not seeing my left monitor. It's not working. There we go. Okay, here, here's my left monitor. Can you see my, here's my cursor coming down into the corner to my system tray. And then I can, then when you uh, click on the NDI, um, you'll, uh, in the system tray, you'll right click on it and then you'll go up to your desktop and click, um, Adobe Character Animator. Mine's already on because that's what I've been using to do this tutorial. Um, but you, you need to select that. That's important, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so once you've done that, everything is good to go. All you need to do is make a quick change in Discord. So uh, let's get Discord up. Okay. So get rid of the left monitor, show you the right monitor. Okay, so um, I want to stream, um, like I wanna do it like, uh, what do you call it? Like send my video. So I'm going to do this button down here. So I was turn camera on. And now you'll see, hey, wow. That's not my webcam, that's actually me. And the way that I um, did that was set it up ahead of time. So I'm gonna show you how to do that too so that your camera automatically goes right to your avatar. Down next to your name here at the bottom, you're going to go into user settings 
And then you're gonna go down, all the way down to voice and video, right here on the left-hand side. Click on that. Um, and this is where your, your input stuff is. You scroll down to the video section, and then you change it. Um, you'll have different choices here. Um, and you'll change it to your um, New Tech NDI video. New Tech is the company that makes the NDI stuff. Um, and by having that, it'll be, um, it'll be your avatar. Now, one, um, one thing is that, in here, let's test the video here. We can test it right here. Yay, there we are. Um, if you want to go back to using your normal camera to show your real face, you'll have to um, disconnect uh, going back. Let's go back into um, here, uh, the system tray. Left monitor. Um, if you want to change it back to a real web camera, sorry, it's just loading, I guess. There we go. Um, you go back into the system tray in the lower right, and then you'd click on uh, right click on the NDI, the little yellow NDI thing, and then you would you would put it to um, to n uh, to none. So then you would lose that camera signal and it would no longer be going to, so it's still on my character animator, but if I go back into Discord, it's frozen up because, here, let's go in here. It's not gonna do anything. Oh, you're not seeing what I'm looking at, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so I came back into um, Discord after turning off that little yellow NDI virtual camera thing and it's just locked up it's not it's not going to be displaying it so if i go back in here i'm not broadcast you see i'm not broadcasting my video so what i need to do is <clears throat> go back into my system tray back, turn on my right monitor oh i am on the right monitor i turn on my left monitor Okay, so I'll go back to my system tray. I'm sorry about the load time on this part of it, but for some reason OBS takes a second to recognize my monitor. Okay, so you go back to that system tray, right click on the NDI, NDI virtual input and then turn, it, uh, turn that back on. See how it's not ticked this time? Now that I ticked it, all of a sudden, you're gonna see I'm on back on Discord. Um, there I am in the Discord chat. So that's pretty much it. So you can turn that on and off. So again, if you wanna use your regular camera for Discord sometimes, and then sometimes you wanna use, um, you wanna use your uh, avatar, then that's easy to do. Okay. So um, I think I think that's it. All the links are in the description. I hope it's helpful to you and that it wasn't too wordy. Um, enjoy. I'm Stardust Legacy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on YouTube and on Twitch. And have a good day. Let me bring back. I want to bring back my little cutie pie. Oh, never mind. It's gonna take too long. <laughs> Bye.